I want you to have the source code for both tight and loose coupling. Thus, in order to change the current code to loose coupling, I will create a new folder. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it, and change this to number three, loose coupling. OK. So let's open this. If I go to public develop projects PHP, blah, 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 blah. OK, so here we are. So now we have the same source code as we had earlier, and we can continue from here. Eric, your boss, wants a new traveling option. He wants traveling by tanks. And you're asking, tanks, really? And Eric says, yes. Traveling by tanks is the latest trend now. So obviously you cannot disagree with Eric and you just continue with the implementation. So I'm just going to copy this airplane class, paste it, change it to tank, and of course the class name here, and the text. Okay, so that was step one. And this time we want a better version of the current code. The code works and we already know it. We also know how to extend this code and implement traveling by tank as well. And actually I need to protect it here. Okay. So we also know how to extend this current code and implement traveling by tank. However, we said that the traveler class already knows too much. It depends on many classes and we do not want to add a third class. Instead, let's take a step back. In programming, you can solve many problems by looking at the source code for patterns. In the Traveler class, we make use of uh, a protected variable called vehicle. And the reason is because a car, an airplane, and of course a tank, they are all vehicles. So this is the first pattern. The second pattern is that car, tank, and airplane they all have a start function. So what do we need according to these two patterns here? So it looks like we need an interface. And of course, what is the name of the interface? Well, vehicle. And the function will be start. So that's all. All right, so let's go to the airplane implement vehicle. And it looks like we made a small mistake, not star, start. So again, implement vehicle and also the tank. Okay, so this is step one. We create the interface, we have the function here start and we implement this function to, uh, you know, for all the vehicles. However, the Traveler class is still kind of ugly and depends on two classes, car for now and airplane. To fix this problem, I will use dependency injection. So we need a constructor that accepts the vehicle interface. And all I have to do is say this vehicle equals to the vehicle that we pass. We do not have to pass a type anymore, and we can get rid of these if else is here. So all we have is vehicle start. Look how simple the Traveler class is now. The Traveler class at this point has zero dependencies on external classes. Vehicle here is an interface, do not get confused. In terms of classes, there is none. So Traveler now is loose coupled. So let's go to the index here. And because we have a constructor in the Traveler class, as you can see, we have to pass some type of vehicle. So I will say new tank, and we can get rid of this airplane here. It is not required anymore. So we are in this folder. So all I have to do now is say PHP index. And guess what? We get using a tank. You want to change this to an airplane? Very easy. Using an airplane. You want to change it to a car? Again, very simple. So we just converted a tight coupled code to loose coupled. So let's analyze the code a bit more. 
we said that a class should be loose coupled in order to reduce the amount of bugs and make a system easier to extend. So at this moment, is it easier to extend? Of course it is. You do not have those ugly if else's in the code anymore and you can use whatever vehicle you want. You just have to go here and pass it to the constructor. So you can see how simple the Traveler class has become. And because there is no dependency to any external class, the amount of bugs that you can get out of this is probably zero because there is no, there is no dependency. You can still get, of course, bugs, but in, at this moment, the class Traveler is very, very well organized and designed. So there is no need to worry about bugs at this moment. However, if your object-oriented skills are not that good, then at this point you might be a bit confused. The constructor is asking for an interface. However, let me keep just the traveler and the index files for now. So the constructor is asking for an interface vehicle. However, in the index file, what we pass is a concrete class. It can be a car, it can be an airplane, a tank, whatever. Because car, airplane and tank implement the vehicle interface, and you can double check it here, you can see that they all implement the vehicle interface. So because they do that, it means that uh, the car, the airplane and the tank are all instances of a vehicle. So that's why it works. Even though here we're asking for an interface vehicle and we pass a concrete class, it will still work because our classes, car, airplane, and tank, they all implement this vehicle interface. So that's why it works. So let's try something in order to understand this even better. So I'm going to say here, if new car instance of vehicle echo true, else echo false. Let me also comment this because I don't want to get the traveling by. So if I run this now, as you can see, we get true because a car is an instance of a vehicle since the car implements the vehicle. However, let's add a new traveling option, skateboard. Okay. Let me actually copy this. So skateboard. This time I will not implement the vehicle interface. Okay. So this time we just have the class skateboard. So if I run this, if I say now, if skateboard is an instance of a vehicle, what do you expect to come as a result? False, right? Because the skateboard doesn't implement the vehicle interface, so it is false. And of course, if I actually try to travel by a skateboard, again, what do you expect? This will not work because you can see here it says expected vehicle got skateboard. And if I run this, we get a fatal error that says, well, if I have to scroll up, as you can see here, it says, must be an instance of vehicle, instance of skateboard given. So it doesn't work. So that's why it works with car, airplane and tank, because they all implement the vehicle interface. But the skateboard doesn't work because it doesn't implement the vehicle interface. Anyway, so this is all I had to say for this video. Hopefully you liked it and you can see that it works. So this is the difference between loose coupling and tight coupling code.